thinking of traveling to Europe from the USA. We've got a heads up for you. The EU is proposing to end visa-free travel for US citizens. In this video, we will discuss the travel arrangements between the US and Europe, as well as the Visa Waiver Program, and the European Travel Information and Authorization System. But first, we want to thank you for joining us. Find us on all the other social media channels, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel, and click that bell, to get notified when we release a new video. We also appreciate your likes and comments below, as it helps to support our channel. The European Union Parliament has called on the EU Commission to undertake the necessary measures to guarantee full reciprocity in terms of visa-free travel between the bloc and the United States, as foreseen by the EU legislation. In a meeting of the Parliament held on October 22, the Parliament has pointed out that Bulgarian, Croatian, Cypriot and Romanian citizens still need a visa to enter the US, while nationals from the US can travel visa-free throughout the whole of Europe. With the support of 376 MEPs, a resolution urging the Commission to present a legal act suspending the visa waiver for US nationals for 12 months, as established in the so-called reciprocity mechanism. According to a press release of the EU Parliament, the legislation foresees that the EU Commission must adopt a legal act suspending the visa waiver for nationals of any third country that does not lift visa requirements within 24 months of being formally notified of a situation of non-reciprocity. After the reciprocity measure is proposed by the Commission, both the European Parliament and Council can object it. Commenting on the resolution, the chair of the Civil Liberties Committee and reporter, Juan Fernando López Aguila, said that Bulgarians, Croatians, Cypriots, and Romanians are the sole EU citizens, discriminated against when it comes to traveling to the US. Respecting the fundamental principle of solidarity among EU members, we call on the Commission to act as established in European legislation and table a proposal to suspend the visa waiver for US nationals. It will then be up to the Parliament and the Council to assess the political consequences of this move, MEP López Aguila said. The situation of non-reciprocity affecting Bulgaria, Croatia, Cyprus, and Romania was formally raised on April 12, 2014, based on which the Parliament asserts that the deadline for the Commission to act, according to the EU laws, expired on April 12, 2016. Back then, Poland was also affected, but since last year Polish citizens can travel to the US visa-free. The US Visa Waiver Program allows citizens of specific countries to travel to the United States for tourism, business, or while in transit, for up to 90 days without having to obtain a visa. All EU member states, except for Bulgaria, Croatia, Cyprus, and Romania are part of the program. Although Croatia has applied for visa-free travel for its citizens this year, and has reportedly met the key criterion of the program, it has yet to receive an official declaration from the US authorities. Nationals of the countries part of the US Visa Waiver Program must apply for an authorization using a system called the Electronic System for Travel Authorization, commonly referred to as ESTAR, before traveling to the US. The ESTAR application collects biographic information, and this will be used for border management and security. A similar system, called ATS, which stands for the European Travel Information and Authorization System, will soon be introduced by EU in 2022. ATS will apply to all countries, including the UK, after Brexit is completed, that do not need a visa to travel to Europe. People applying for ETIAS will have to undergo a security check to determine if they will be allowed to enter the Schengen area. Prior to this online system, nationals from non-visa required countries, for purposes of traveling up to 90 days in the EU, were not required to go through a long process to apply for a visa, which allows the country to do a background check on the applicant. 
ETIAS will now make sure that these nationals are not a security threat. If your ETIAS application is approved, it might be valid for three years or until the travel documents you use expire. You can enter the Schengen area as many times as you would like, as long as your ETIAS is still valid, and you have not stayed more than 90 days in a 180-day period. What are your thoughts about the reciprocity rule? Comment below. If you need assistance with a visa to Europe or the UK, including help with securing your travel arrangements, IAM can help. For visa advice, contact your IAM visa coordinator. Let us know what topic you will like for us to cover next, by commenting below. Don't forget to subscribe, and hit that bell, for more travel and visa updates.